My name is Leigh Ann Mitchell Lefembert. My film's name is uh, Black Rage, aka Queen Tone. I'm the writer, co-director, producer, composer of the whole thing. I made this film because it's beautiful to see Black Joy presented in highly melanated and smiles and golden tones and all of that and like you know as Jill Scott says living life like it's golden but here's the reality though I genuinely believe that until you tell me that black people are allowed to be angry and it's not scary to people have conflict and understand us when we are upset and it's not scary to people you can't tell me I can fully have my joy because you're telling me I can't fully express when my skin isn't so glowy, when I'm not so perfect, when I just want to throw paint on the walls, when I just want to smash some shit. That is what this is because we all feel that and we're afraid to display the anger or the or the hurt even. It's like, ah, don't do that. They'll play the race card. That is the idea of this. I think that I don't always get as buzzwordy as I feel questions have gotten so often nowadays. All I know is this. I hold these identities that the world decides that uh, is not advantageous to their happiness and enjoyment to exist, but I don't give a fuck. So I'm going to use my art to say, I'm not asking you to tolerate me, actually. That's not what I want. What I want is you to leave me alone and leave my people alone and let us live just like we let you live. My grandmother used to say something to me because she worked as a librarian, the head librarian often and for a lot of people in a lot of school districts over her career. And there were always white people under her and she always got a lot of flack or weird things from them. And she said to them once, many times, and she told me the same thing. In my life, in my job, I don't need to hear that stuff. I know you have something to say about me when I'm not in the room, but you're gonna respect me when I'm here. You're gonna make sure that you put some respect on my name and not make me have to hold or deal with those things in certain spaces. Would I love for those people's hearts and minds to change? Yes, but I know, I'm focused on my and my people's hearts and minds and knowing that we know who we are and are strong in who we are. So that is what I use my art to do, to uplift and uphold them, to go out and face the detractors. That's what I think my art is for. The next things that I have coming up are something I just finished, a five minute, 30 second long piece for the transmutation ceremonies. That is with Mirror Memoirs. Uh, shout out to Amita. And we are bringing you something that is a performance that you'll be able to watch on the 21st, I think is a Sunday, but the single, the song and the piece that I did will be out as a single on the 19th, uh, the Friday before that. Um, so please definitely go get tickets. We hope to see you there.